One of the new darlings of the right, Tucker Carlson, brought on uh, environmentalist and filmmaker Josh Fox to berate him over climate change. So I want to show you that. And towards the end of this clip, you're going to see an awesome moment unfold. So in case you're keeping track at home, low temperatures are proof of global warming. So are high temperatures, heat waves. Also, hurricanes are, but droughts are too. So hot or cold, wet or dry, all of it is proof that human activity is making the climate hotter. The question is, is there any weather phenomenon that doesn't prove global warming? Josh Fox follows us carefully. He's a documentary director and environmental activist, and he joins us. Josh, thanks for coming on. Tucker, it's great to be on again with you. Thank you. You said everything that you just said was true. That was amazing. You, you well, had like I'm, a look, whole I'm run not, look, there. Let me just say at the outset, right. I'm, not, I'm not here to debate you. I, I don't really know what my position is. I'm open-minded because I believe in science, and I think that okay. evidence ought to lead to conclusion, not the other way well, that's, around. That's but miraculous. I, but, I'm, but why wouldn't I be a little bit confused if... People say that hot temperatures are, the, are a sign of global warming. Now they're saying cold temperatures are, wet conditions are, but also dry conditions. How can that all be true? Again, you're not really stating it correctly. I think what people are saying about the bomb cyclone is it is a similar weather event to a hurricane, which is true. What climate change does as a result of warming is it increases the extreme weather events, right? Extreme cold, extreme, hot, but in this case, we're talking about extreme storms, right? Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Harvey. These were unprecedented and incredibly disastrous events in terms of the climate, and this bomb cyclone is very similar. Now, in the scientific wait, terms, wait, what wait, this wait, means- Wait, hold on, wait, just to stop, and, and I just wanna make sure I have this right, and I wanna make it clear, you're not a scientist, so be sure not to patronize me, just give me a straight answer. I was told uh, for the last 15 years that global warming, its main result was higher temperatures. So can you see well, why we I'd are be confused? Seeing, okay, we are we're seeing, seeing higher temperatures. So, but yes. if this turns out to be an unusually cold year, and it looks like it may, how no, can that it's also cold be? in New York. It's cold in New York. You're in New York. I'm in Louisiana. And in fact, yesterday I was in St. Thomas where it was 80 degrees. And that's the point. The hurricanes and the cyclones start with a warming Atlantic. When the Atlantic Ocean is warmer, it evaporates more air into the more water into the air. When right. you have more water in the air, more water comes down. So you saw this huge deluge with, with Harvey. You saw all of this wind and rain with Irma and Maria, and now you're seeing huge amounts of snow but, because of uh, the warming the warming temperature in the Caribbean. Wait, but I'm right? confused. You know okay, that so these storms come a lot up from Florida, right? We know that, right? But it was Tucker? just, I'm not sure what we know. Because I'm explaining it was, to you the on, science. Now, you, you asked me about science, right? So I'm explaining well, I'm not, to you the science. Well, I don't science. know how much you know about science. I, uh, and I know that I don't know much well, about science. I have science. a map right here of the whole world temperatures, right? Now, you'll okay. see the blue right there. That's North America. That means it's colder than average. But if you look at the rest of the planet, it's warmer than average. That means when you talk about global warming you look at the entire globe okay not just new york city when it's like oh you can say oh i live in new york city so it's cold in new york city that's not an argument that was awesome (laughs) when he took out the thing he's like oh and here's a map that proves you're wrong (laughs) oh that was glorious i like how it came out of nowhere it was like oh what do we have here bitch looks like you wrong Oh, that was funny. Okay, so um, let me let me uh, explain what Tucker Carlson is doing here. Um, what he's doing is so every now and then there will be articles written where you know people will say when we're in a cold snap, ah, this is proof of global warming, and then you know so Tucker extrapolates from that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second now. Since I'm a logic master, let me break this down for you. So when it's warming, that's evidence of global warming, and when it's when it's getting colder, that's evidence of global warming. That makes no sense. Therefore, and the implication is, of course, now he might deny this, but the implication is, therefore, don't global warming, schmobble schmorming. Fuck that. Don't worry about that. Um, it's all a liberal plot to, I don't know, take over, take more control of your life. And it's a Chinese hoax for manufacturing, like Donald Trump happens to believe. Um, so that's what he's doing there. Now, uh, why is he completely misleading uh misleading you and he's doing it on purpose it's because number one as josh fox points out there with global warming or really people mostly refer to it as climate change now 
because global warming, the term global warming is a little misleading. The term climate change is used more now because it's more accurate. But what that does is, number one, it increases extreme weather events. So you get extremes on both ends of the spectrum. So you get more drought and you get more hurricanes. Um, you know, you get uh, more cold snaps and you get more heat waves. So you're going to get, in the micro picture, you're going to get extremes on both ends of the spectrum. You're just going to have more extreme weather events. That's why the wildfires in California are uh, lasting longer than they used to and uh, taking out more land than it used to. That's why the hurricanes are more powerful than they used to be. Um, so all of that happens. But then the second component to it is, while there's an increase in extreme uh, weather events on both ends of the spectrum, there's also a general macro trend. And in that macro trend, Josh Fox's map is 100% right. And what that map shows is, even though there's an increase in extreme weather on both ends of the spectrum, the climate which is, of course, the accumulation of the individual weather events, so weather over a very extended period of time, the climate is trending much warmer over time. So, for example, we had three of the warmest years ever recorded in the past five years. So, that's uh, climate change for you. You have an increase in extreme weather events, while at the same time, the macro trend is, overall in the globe, there's an increase in temperature. So, and that has horrendous consequences, of course. That has rising sea levels is the one that people talk about the most. But it also has drought and famine, which leads to giant spikes in food prices, for example. Going to be wars over water eventually. The Middle East, at some point, is going to become uninhabitable. So, and let me, let me also be clear about something else. Just because all of that is true, and just because the scientists are right, does not mean that everybody... Every article that's ever written about climate change that admits climate change is real is correct. That's not true. There are some articles that misstate facts about climate change, even though they're right on the overall point that climate change is real. Al Gore made some points in, in his movie, An Inconvenient Truth, that turned out to not be anywhere near true. Now, that doesn't mean that all of climate change is false, and that doesn't mean that some of the dire predictions aren't coming true. It just means that some of the specific points that were made by some people in the debate were wrong. But what guys like Tucker Carlson do is they seize on the little things here and there that are wrong and they go, ah, well, what are we doing here? It's, hey, it's cold, it's hot, it's whatever. Therefore, I don't know how it can be climate change. I don't know how it can be global warming when there's a cold snap. And that's hacky garbage. And by the way, it goes on, it, Tucker Carlson goes on to make the same point again. And I don't, Josh Fox did a great job in the clip I showed you there. In the rest of the clip, I don't think he does a great job because Tucker Carlson goes on to make the same point again. He points out some obscure New York Times article that said, hey, increased cold proves global warming. And uh, Josh Fox just goes to the, oh, you know, hey, I care about people. Why don't you care about people? And then Tucker Carlson gets to nail Josh Fox on the, like, why are you fucking virtue signaling and pretending you're just more moral than everybody else when you're talking about this issue? So I don't think the end of that conversation went very well, and I don't think Josh Fox directly addressed the point very well at the end, but at least the part you saw here, which is about the first half of the interview, I think on that one, Josh Fox nailed uh, Tucker Carlson, and that's where the real substance and meat of the conversation was. And really, the, the only two facts you need to know are the things I just told you, that as a result of climate change, there's going to be increased extreme weather on both ends of the spectrum, while at the same time, you're going to have the macro trends are going to go in the warming direction. So, that's the reality. That's, that's what 99.9% .9 of climate science studies have proven. Everything else you hear, everything else, is just fucking noise. That's it. Care about what the, the scientific studies say. Don't give a shit what pundits anywhere say at all. Even me. If I'm wrong about something, check it with the science, okay? I guarantee you the science is going to back up what I'm saying, but check it. Check it. And you will see that the scientists are correct. Everything else is just noise.